Okay, it's been a little while since we've really uh, had a. So you engaged a Kunari dreadnought in battle. They engaged me in battle. I was just trying to get away. Sailing into the storm was a gamble. Took care of the dreadnought, but it did us in too. Can't win them all. Where I come from, we would call that insanity. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Okay, um, we're going to make a circle around visiting our companions and see what they have to say. We haven't been to Gamlin's house since we stopped living here. He didn't follow us into Hightown, so he's probably pretty bitter about that. <laughs> Plus, his sister's dead. So, you've done well for yourself. I had my doubts the first time I saw you, but I guess there was something to that hawk fellow Leandra ran off with after all. You certainly produced an amazing daughter. Your mother would be proud. I just wish mother had lived to see me become champion. I know, Leandra. And she'd be absolutely glowing from all the praise that's been heaped on you. I don't say this often, but we're the only family we've both got left. For a long time, I thought the Amel line in Kirkwall would end at me. I'm glad you pulled it out of the grave. Oh, well, he's, uh, obvious. He's not being as much of a dick anymore. <laughs> Didn't expect much out of him, though. Moving on. All right, uh, let's go see. I still can't believe Hawk saved you. You've been saying that for years. Would you have turned me over to the Canari? No, but I know what they do to their prisoners. Execute them horribly, I imagine. The Canari waste nothing. They would re-educate you into a loyal follower of the Kuhn. Could I refuse? There's always Kamek, which turns you into a mindless laborer. Like I said, they waste nothing. Oh. If you wish to thank Hawk, she's standing right there. <laughs> Whoop, I missed. I wanted to go to Dark Town, but I wanted to find my way to Anders Clinic, not uh, just wander around in this dump. Oh, somebody's gonna try and kill me. Here we go. Shit, did I go in the wrong direction? Yes, I did. going to be trying something, and I thought you'd want to be part of it. We've both been wrong. What I did with Justice was unnatural. It should never have happened. Is there some way to undo it? I've spent the past three years researching the methods of Tevinter Magisters. Why am I not surprised? They're the only ones who have ever sought to reverse spirit possession, not just behead the victims. I believe I have a formula for a potion that can separate Justice and me, without killing either. Is it dangerous? There are always dangers with magic. But I believe this will be worth the cost. Surely that's worth any risk it entails. I knew you'd stand behind me in this. Even if... What? Nothing. I've gathered most of what I need, but there are some outlandish ingredients I was hoping you'd help me collect. A powder the Tevinters call Celepetre, and a small amount of Drakestone. Is it just a potion? Is there anything more to this ritual? No, no ritual. Just mix the ingredients up and boom. Justice and I are free, and we can take our rightful place among free mages. What is Drakestone? The Tevinters used to mine it for their apothecaries. There should still be deposits in the bone pit. 
Where would we find Celepetre? It's a crystal that forms from concentrated manure and urine. Ew. We can't just buy it somewhere. It's not used by mages here. There's no reason for any merchant to stock it. I suggest we search the sewers. There's an entrance not far from here in Darktown. We're not looking for virgin's blood or the tongue of a hanged man or anything, are we? Well, you know Tavinters. They can't throw a winter send party without a human sacrifice or two. But I promise, everything in my research says there's no blood magic involved. Fenris doesn't like the idea of consorting with any mages at all. Even if it's for what seems to be the sort of noble purpose of unpossessing somebody from uh, from demonic or spirit possession. Uh, what do you say we go and try to get one of those things? The entries to the sewer is this away. I forget where he said what other thing he needed. What was that again? He had the poop. The poop, and okay, we gotta go to the dead mines. That place is dangerous. We can enter the sewers from here to look for the cellar Petre. Are you ready? Let's go. I guess. Hold your nose. We'll have to get pretty close for me to tell what we're looking at. Okay, I guess Fenris is gonna have to be there. Trying to kill me already? Shit. Watch your step. Oh, hit a trap. <laughs> already. Now you fall. Alright, uh. Didn't take long. Like, whose place is this? Larian smugglers. <laughs> Alright, so we killed everybody. Let's go look for this crap. This looks like there's a few places on the mini map that we can search. Shit. We're underground. Let's have a fire. Yeah. What are we gonna burn? I don't know. There's no wood around here. What? This is it. The cellar Petre should have formed right under here. Oh. I don't want to touch that. Let's see if we can find a few more deposits. Ew. You don't want to touch it, then what the hell do you, uh... What the hell are you planning on doing here? So what's compressed poop and pee? If you should have known that this is the kind of garbage we were going to have to deal with when you started us on this mission, bro. This is all you. This is all your fault. See if we can find a few more deposits. How many more do you need? Look at the size of that chunk of shit on the ground. An elevator. <laughs> Alright. One more. I think. Uh, someone's gonna try and kill me on either side of this door. How did I guess? Let's see if we can find a few more deposits. Ugh, it's gonna happen again. Everyone be prepared to start stabbing. Watch your step! 
Oh, no one tried to kill me. That's a pl oh, never mind. Spoke too soon. Let's see if we can find a few more deposits. One more, it looks like. That should be plenty. Thank the maker. We found a lot of shit, bro. Screw it. Okay. That's half the stuff that we need. Now I need to go to the dead mines. We still need the Drake Stone from the Bone Pit. Oh, where's the damn destination? All right, this, this is the one I need to go to. Yeah, there's some other mission that has to be done out here. Get ready. Something fucked all this place up. Stuff's on fire. Are you ready to go in? Ready as I'll ever be. We'll have to look for Drake stone deposits along the sides. Oh, wow. I imagine something's going to try and kill me in here. Alright. This looks like a Drake stone deposit. I need a scraping from the deepest part. There should be more further in. Do you really need more? Or are you just screwing around? Here we go. There should be more further in. Should there be? How come I never noticed any of this crap while I was wandering around in this mine a dozen times I've done it earlier? People just leaving corpses all over the place. There should be more further in. Nothing's tried to kill me in the past 45 seconds. It's a new record. Although I have a feeling that's about to come to an end. Yeah, it's a wide open area. Come on, come and get me. I don't like the looks of this. Oh. I disarm a trap and I get attacked by poisonous spiders. Then caught in another trap. This is a powerful friggin' spider monster. It's uh <laughs> can't can't friggin' take it out. Too powerful, but uh it won't follow me up the sla the stairs it looks like. It's too big. So I'm just gonna sit here and um keep dropping Caesar down there and let him uh let him take out the friggin' uh, spider. If I were an archer I'd I think I'd be able to hit him from up here. Go get him, dog. What? Get your ass out of there. Ah.
stupid dog. Go get him, dog. What's your problem? Cheat for me. There we go. gonna take a while. <laughs> okay, I think I got it now. Dog attacks. Got it. In. You mean that wasn't it, you freaking a-hole? Uh, it's gotta be searching all over for you. This better be worth it. Trap. Oh. That should be enough. All right, let's get our asses back to where that hole in the ground, literally, hole in the ground that you live in. I wouldn't have asked just anyone to venture in there for me. There is one more thing, but we must discuss it privately. Of course we must. There is one more thing I need of you, my love, and I can't tell you why. I must get inside the Chantry, without being seen. Will you talk to the Grand Cleric for me? Distract her long enough for me to do what must be done. Tell me your plan. You would not thank me if I told you. If you support freedom for mages, help me. That's all I can say. What do you want me to talk about? Food? The weather? What does it matter? No, talk of mages. Give her one final chance to hear what we have suffered. To pick a side. Perhaps she'll be more inclined to listen to you. What is it you don't want me to see? Do you believe in me, love? Do you believe mages deserve to live free of the Templar's grasp? Then trust me now. I am doing only what is necessary. Was this ever about you and Justice? Or have you lied this whole time? I lied. There is no potion. But what we have gathered will bring freedom for more than just me and Justice. It will help mages throughout Fadus. In the face of that, one lie means little. I can't act blindly. Tell me your plan. I am taking a risk. I would not see you drawn into it. But maybe your support of mages ends at talk. It's easier to support freedom if no one must die to achieve it. You cannot claim to love me, then turn on me now. Tell me what you would have of me then. But I won't forget you blackmailed me to get it. I promise, whatever happens, it's on my head. It will not come back on you. Go to the Chantry. Talk to the Grand Cleric. I will join you when I'm done. 
Ah, eh, son of a bitch lying to me and all. Alright, let's do this. I'll find you as soon as I'm done. Thank you. Yes, yeah, don't seem you suspicious at all. You've done a great twine. When did I loan you a ball of twine? You gave it to me when I first moved here, when I kept getting lost in Low Town. It drove the merchants in the market completely batty, but it did help me find my way. Keep it, Daisy. I don't think I'll be getting lost again anytime soon. Oh, well, you never know. Might need to tie a package up, hang a lantern, dress a roast chicken. It's multi-purpose. Uh, am I supposed to talk to someone? Where's my people? No quest markers anywhere but the door. Not even anything to steal. Blessed art thou who exists in the sight of the Maker. Sing of the chant so it may reach his ears. Maker's blessing, champion. Have you come to pray? So, hypothetically, if there were a group of people being brutally subjugated by another, wouldn't the Maker favor the oppressed? You speak of mages. It's no secret that you count apostates among your friends, champion. You have done much to fan the flames of rebellion here. We must give Meredith and Orsino time to work out their differences. No good can come of showing favor to one side. I guess that means you're not ready to disband the Templars and set every mage free. I feel for the mages, I do. I would not wish to be locked in the gallows. But I cannot take sides. We are all the Maker's creatures, but magic allows abuses beyond the scope of mortals. I only hope I can balance the needs of everyone. For if it comes to war, it is the people of this city who will lose. There you are. I've been looking for you all over. Your Grace? Your soul is troubled, child. I hope you found a balm for it here. Um, uh, interesting choice of words. Is there anything else you had to say? Yeah. I wanted you to have this. What's that? A pillow? Hand embroidered by my mother. The only thing of hers they let me keep when I went to the circle. Why in the name of Andraste would you give that to me? You've been a good friend, Varric. Uh-uh. You keep your pillow, Blondie. And may you have many more dreams of killing Templars on it. Hawk, I didn't expect you here. I want to tell you now. I love you. You've stood by me when I gave you every reason to turn away. Just remember, whatever happens, I wanted you to know that. Why are you talking like this? He'll still be here, you know. Justice. Long after you and I are gone. It doesn't mean the same thing to a spirit. He'll just go back to the Fade. Usually, people don't say things like that unless they're about to stab someone in the back. I love you. I wish that meant I would never hurt you. You were the most important thing in my life. But some things matter more than my life. More than either of us. I'm sorry. If you were curious, that's not the best way to get me in the mood. I told you I would break your heart. Just know it breaks mine to do it. I was hoping we'd find a better way, but... Justice and vengeance are too intertwined. I can't tell one from the other. You were the one shining light in my life. Never blame yourself for what will happen. Ah, uh, this guy's up to some shit. 